First cable that I'm going to show you is an aerial drop cable, um, one pair cable, and this cable is usually used for temporary services. So if there is a remodeling going on in a house, or if they're buried or aerial service um, has an issue with it, uh, telephone companies or broadband companies will put a temporary drop, either aerial or on the ground, until the burying crew can come in. There's just two conductors, um, tip and a ring, and if you felt this conductor or this cable here, it has a polyethylene jacket. It's very hard, very durable, so that vehicles could drive over it and still have service to that customer. Um, there's a ridge, and that ridge tells us that that is the ring side, okay, and the other side would be your tip conductor. This is not um, color coded at all and you'd only know that because of the ridge itself. Ridge stands for ring. The next cable that I want to talk about is another drop cable. Um, this is actually has a plastic insulated cut conductors. It has two pairs, okay? The white, blue, blue, white, and the white, orange, orange, white. It still has the polyethylene uh, coating on there. This one is not as durable. It's a little bit more. It's more flexible. It has pull strings, okay, to actually strip down, okay, to the proper length for its termination. And this has once again um, two actual physical cable pairs in this conductor. The next one I want to talk about. This is a actual six pair drop cable. This is going to be used for bearing to homes or businesses and its capacity is up to six pairs okay going through the white blue the white orange the white green the white brown the white slate and the red blue pairs this has an ETPR compound in there uh, to prevent any type of moisture it also has the uh, corrugated copper shield that sh which you will have to bond and ground for electrical protection and for locating services. The next cable that I want to talk about is here is a uh, PE89. Okay, this is for um, going to be used for trunk and distribution cable, 25 pairs. It has the corrugated aluminum shield. It still has a polyethylene jacket, and this has 25 cable pairs. Okay, the next one is a uh, 50 slash 24 PE 89 this tells me that there's 50 pairs so there's two binder groups okay the first binder group has the industry uh, 25 pair color code but it is identified with a white blue um, stringer on here that's this right there okay the other 25 pair um, is the white orange binder group so that would be actually pairs 26 through 50. The next cable, as you can tell, these cables get larger in size. This is another, uh, this is an actual an air core PE22. How do I know that? It's because there's no jelly here, okay? Or ETPR co compound. They call it jelly fill, they call it icky pick. Um, and once again, that's for moisture uh, prevention. This actually is a 300 pair cable. Um, there's 300 individual pairs, which are all identified with a binder color code. And lastly, what I want to show you is a 600 pair. This is a PE89. And you can see the jelly film, and they're all separated in their individual binder groups. Okay, up to 600 pairs and we will talk about the color code in a later video.